from my youth onwards, I have felt that it was one of the duties of my life to write my autobiography. Certain qualities of my own mind, a strong consciousness and a clear memory in regard to my early feelings have seemed to indicate to me the duty of recording my own experiences. I was born on June the 12th, 1802, in Norwich, the sixth child of eight. When I was born, my mother sent me to a wet nurse who stopped feeding me milk when I was just three months of age. My bad health during my childhood and youth, and even my deafness, was always ascribed to this by my mother. When I was 16, I fell in love with nature. It took away all my fears and shyness and it inspired my writing career. I began to write anonymously for the monthly repository, a Unitarian periodically, and in 1823 I published devotional exercises and addresses prayers and hymns. Studying religion has been one of the most important subjects of my life. Another has been political economics. My first commissioned volume, Illustrations of Political Economy, was published in 1832 and I quickly became successful. I kept publishing in newspapers for several years. Later, I moved to London where I met many scholars and where I gained great success in non-fiction writing. I visited America and wrote Society in America, 1837, and How to Observe Morals and Manners. From that time, I started to focus on female education and female activities. I dedicated my knowledge and my thoughts to my writing career. I kept writing articles, essays and novels. Words were always my best friends. They make me stronger and they accompany me to my life's end. And these are my memories. Harriet Martineau. 1856.